Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, as always, I want to give all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, <clears throat> and salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth, all right, that believe wholeheartedly. And this true doctrine is being pushed throughout the four winds of the earth who are in hope of mercy and salvation in these last days, all right? I wanted to do this, uh, you know, this quick little in-transit video, you know, while traffic is slowed down a little bit, um, based upon this, this video that I uh, saw earlier. Uh, this woman, she goes by the name of... Uh, <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> she goes by the name of uh, uh, the Queen or Kim the Queen OG or Queen the Kim the Queen Kim OG, something like that. Uh, but her name is Kim. Uh, she looks straight up like a white woman, all right? When you face value. She looked like a white woman that's on her, uh, what they would call her, you know, her stud tip, which she probably is on that tip, but ain't no way this is a uh, Edomite woman, all right? Ain't no way that this woman is Edomite, in my opinion. I believe she's a Jake, and uh, when you go to her content, She's constantly getting on her own kind, so-called, her own so-called kind, which she don't even know. Which her, she might know she's not a full-blown white woman because the way she advocates and, um, you know, she's in the middle of Jake affairs, all right? For lack of a better term to say that. Um, one... <clears throat> one uh, affair that she's pushing is uh, the uh, Freedom Acres with, uh, I believe it's Courtney and Karen Mallory, so-called black uh, farmers, some farmers that have a bunch of land and uh, so-called black man, black woman in this family. They have a bunch of land in Denver and uh, you know, they've been being harassed by the local authorities because they want, it, they want their land, all right? And that's just one of the, uh, <clears throat> damn, excuse me, man, I'm still a little, you know, stuffed up and <clears throat> whatnot. But, uh, you know, basically she, she's a uh, real avid, concerning uh, so-called Negro, black and brown um, issues in the U.S. And she understands and knows that it's over for the so-called white man, all right, which is the Edomite, okay? <clears throat> it's done, it's over, it's up for the Edomites, and she knows it, all right? And I'm going to play this video just to prove that fact. Now, this is what she looks like, okay? If you can see that, you probably seen her before on TikTok or the YouTube. Um, she goes by the, uh, like I said, um, I think it's Kim the Queen OG or uh, Queen Kim the OG or something like that, all right? You just type her in, I'm sure she'll come up. And, um, <coughs> damn, you got a lot of, uh, so-called black women that, you know, that basically co-sign her, which she could, she's definitely one of the tribes. She's either, uh, Judah, Gad, maybe even Reuben, all right? But, uh, she's, uh, definitely not no uh, Edomite woman, a white woman, all right, as we know 
as the Edomites, okay? Now, I'm going to play this video of hers, and, um, you know, we'll grab some scripture, scriptures based upon what she's saying, okay? I don't know how else to tell my demographic of people that it's over. I don't know how clearer I can say it to us than to say it's over. Our control, our power, our privilege, it's over. It's over. And it doesn't matter if you have a Democrat or a Republican in the House, whomever is in control will only push us closer and closer to our inevitable end, which is civil war. And I smile and smirk because I'm ready for that. It is the only way that we're going to get to what we need in order to live in this country. And to be honest, white people, we might not be welcome here when it's all said and done. Are you ready for that? That's if you even accept that we're going into civil war and you can survive that part. Y'all are too busy hanging on to the privilege of our grandparents, thinking that if you just continue just to hold on for dear life, everything will go back to the leave it the beaver racist ways when we all had privilege and we were in control and on top of society. No, the pandemic took care of that. My message to white people is get ready, get prepared, figure out what side you're on and be 10 toes down. Because regardless of what you're holding on to from the past, the future is war and it's coming. <laughs> she, she's real uh, sarcastic, uh, you know, with her people or so-called people. Like I said, I don't believe she's a, a so-called white woman or Edomite. She just looks that way. <clears throat> and we know that our people come looking like all people. And you could tell she got spirit, all right? So, um, like you just heard her say, those times of leave it to Bieber that Esau craves to have again, those days are over. It's over for the Edomites, man. All right, they have been uh, uncovered. All right, the Most High has uh, revealed this man as being the devil the Bible speaks of. Okay, and he's on his way out, and it's just a matter of time before Yahweh Shai returns <coughs> and totally takes him out of the power seat. Let me get through these scriptures, man, so I can blow my nose. Uh, let's go to uh, the book of 2 Ezra, the 11th chapter first, all right? Because she said, you know, it's over, okay? And this is the spirit that's out there on you, on you devils, man, okay? This is uh, 2 Ezra 11, 42. All right, now we know, we know and understand that this whole chapter is dealing with uh, the Roman Empire up until this point, all right? The Most High is speaking to these Edomites that was ruling the Roman Empire, in particular, the Caesars. <clears throat> he was speaking through them to uh, Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai, through the prophet Ezra, all right? Um, in particular, in the future sense, in this term, in, in these scriptures, all right? The end of the chapter, okay? Because like she said, those proud times, those privileged times where they all had privilege, the leave it to beaver days, the lassie days, Beethoven and all that shit, <clears throat> or, or Mr. Ed, <laughs> you know, those times, the honeymooners, when Esau was uh, running the... Uh, the sitcoms and all all that shit is over he's this man is on the incline and he's on his way out <clears throat> this is uh second answers 11 and 42 it says for thou has afflicted the meek thou has hurt the peaceable <clears throat> thou has loved liars and everything that this man has reaped matter of fact i mean song on the planet earth he's getting ready to reap okay let me get that real quick in the book of uh, Galatians. <clears throat> Real 
real quick and then we'll go back to that. Okay. And the most high, the most high allowed you uh, you know, to rule the planet Earth. And you had the opportunity to do right. Matter of fact, you still have the opportunity to do right, but you won't. All right, because you're you're the crooked, you're the, the wicked, and that which is made crooked cannot be made straight. All right. This is Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. <clears throat> and that goes on levels of individual men. All right. And more importantly, on levels of nations. All right. Because what, what has the so-called white man sown on the planet Earth? Nothing good. Everything negative and destructive has this man sown on the planet Earth. And he's getting ready to uh, reap it. And Kim can see that. That's why she said, we better hope that we're even welcome when it's all said and done. Well, she don't understand that America is going to be destroyed. All right? But you can, you can, you can apply that to them being welcome in the earth all right because they're gonna go back to the peasants that they that they are <clears throat> they're gonna go back <clears throat> excuse me they're gonna go back to that wild man all right whom 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 uh the most high rose up out of that uh caveman condition they're gonna go back to that all right they're going to go back to being the lowest of the low. All right? That's why it is written in uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, such great riches have come to naught. Not only is Babylon the Great going to be destroyed and brought to naught, all right? The rulers of Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed and brought to naught, all right? Beginning with the elite bankers, okay? They're going to go from having the world in the palm of their hand, all right? To, to having chains around their wrists, ankles, waistline, and neck hauled into slavery, just like that, okay? Like Kim said, it's over, okay? It's over. Read that again, Galatians 6 and 7. Uh, Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And now the time of reaping is here for Esau. Esau, Edom, the time of reaping is here for you. And you're not going to escape it. All right? Everything you sown, you're getting ready to reap. Okay? Now going back to 2 Ezra 11. In uh, 42 again, it says, For thou hast afflicted the meek, thou hast hurt the peaceable. Thou hast loved liars and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. And this is what this man's MO is. And Yahweh Shai has been watching him. Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai has been watching him the whole time. Watch him wreak havoc on the planet Earth and, and, and totally destroy people for nothing, okay? For his uh, uh, ill-gotten gains, which is lands on the planet Earth, okay? There's so much Earth, we can all live, but this man won't control and he want everything. And the Most High has been seeing how you, and has seen how you got it. So it's only right the Most High bring judgment to the nation of Edom, all right? It's only right. He brought judgment to us, the nation of Israel, his chosen, by allowing you to put all this hell on us. And then the roles of getting ready to be flipped. Okay? <clears throat> it says, uh, it says, them that brought forth fruit and has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Okay? You can ask the Native American Indians, so-called Native American Indians about that. All right? You can ask the so-called African Americans about that. Whom they went and got 
from the west coast of Africa, the tribe of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. <clears throat> Ask the people of, uh, which are all Israelites, Central and South America. Okay. <clears throat> they all welcomed you with open arms. All right, and what'd you do? You stuck a, 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 a rusty knife in their backs, and you're gonna you're gonna reap everything you sown. Okay. Verse forty three. Therefore is thy wrongful dealing come up unto the highest. And remember, the Most High is long suffering. He allowed you to carry on for damn near a thousand years uh, during uh, at the beginning of the Renaissance up until this point. He's allowed you to do what you've done on the planet Earth for a long time. And now he's sick of you and he's getting ready to cash out on you. Okay? The whole world is. The whole world is tired of you. Animals are tired of you devils. All right? Everybody's sick and tired of this man with his lies, with his bullshit. Okay? This is the key point I wanted. Uh, verse 44. Okay. It says, The highest also have looked upon the proud times. All right. Like she mentioned, the Leave it to Beaver days. All right. Even before that, the hardcore slavery, the Jim Crow era. All right. Leave it to Beaver. <clears throat> Most High looked upon those proud times and what? The highest also have looked upon the proud times and behold, they are ended and his abominations are fulfilled. And this is why you see him circling the drain. All right. You had to fill that cup of iniquity to the point to where the heavenly father is going to take you out. Just like he did with the Hamites. They had to fill their cup of iniquity until we were allotted to go in there and do what we did to put them into captivity and to slaughter them and take their land. All right. So you've 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 used up uh, your time. All right. And you use it up wickedly. So now it's time to reap. All right. That's what's getting ready to happen to you devils, man. It's getting ready to be time to reap. All right. I got one more scripture I want to read. The traffic getting ready to start picking up. Um, the book of Isaiah, the 13th chapter. And uh, so like it, bear with me. I think I said Matthew, I meant Isaiah, the 13th chapter. <clears throat> I'm going to start at the 14th verse. Okay. It says, Therefore, I will shake the heavens, and the earth shall remove out of her place. In the wrath of the Lord of hosts, and in the day of his fierce anger. And this is what the Lord is going to do to you, Esau. He's going he's gonna to bring his wrath so heavy that it's going to shake the earth. All right? And this, is all, this wrath is coming upon you and all that follow you. All right? That follow your philosophy. Okay? Key point is here in the 14th verse. <clears throat> and it shall be as a chase row. And as a sheep that no man taketh up, <clears throat> they shall every man turn to his own people <clears throat> and flee everyone into his own land. And this is what you get ready to see. You already see it, okay? People are, are, are realizing who the problem is on the planet Earth. And it's you devils, man. You so-called white people. You Edomites. Right to be to be exact, 
because you do have so-called white people like Kim that may look white, but their spirit is indeed an Israelite spirit, all right? Um, verse 15, everyone that is found shall be thrust through and everyone that is joined onto them shall fall by the sword, okay? So it's gonna be all bad for the so-called white man. Everybody's against this man, okay? Don't nobody trust him. He's the, 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 the outlaw of the planet Earth, man. Uh, verse 16, uh, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, all right? And you heard Kim talk about a civil war, all right? It's going to be, man, it's going to be all bad for you Idumians when the time comes, all right? To where the point, you're going to be as a, a chased roe, meaning a female deer, okay? It says, uh, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. All right, because the Most High gonna put a spirit on Jake, man. And when 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 the time come, oh, excuse me, man. When the time come, it's gonna be over. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be over for you devils, man. Jake gonna have a spirit on them to they ain't gonna give a damn. All right, <clears throat> they go something gonna happen to where it's gonna get to that point. Okay. It says, their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. And this is what's coming, all right? The inevitable, nobody can stop it. It's coming. And every time this man does something, all right, and we moving into the spring, all right, and they getting ready to start killing Jake, uh, Jake these cops gonna start killing Jake again because they wanna set something off. But this time, when you set it off, it's going to be uh, consequences and repercussions, all right? And that's, and that's going to be the spirit that the Most High is going to put out here to be after you because we just read it in the prophecy, man, all right? <clears throat> so I'm going to end it there. Lord will, this was edifying to the hopeful elect. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. On to the next video. Shalom.